It's another month of doom and gloom, even though we get the broom. Brewster will not be coming soon because they hate our guts. Nintendo delivered a fall update flair. It looks so fun. I want to wear the costumes, the candy, and even the stare of the new reactions. But Brewster is missing. It hurts my soul. When will the bird make us whole? Maybe this month we have a plan. Stay tuned, my friends. Stay tuned, my fam. It's that time of the month once again, my friends, for the transition to a new month. I bring you Nook's Almanac for October, where we cover all the new NPCs, the new events, the new DIY, the new fish, the new bugs, the new deep sea creatures, everything under the harvest moon for our amazing Animal Crossing New Horizons experience this October. What's going on everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Smash that like button if you're a hype for this month because it has one of the greatest holidays ever invented in the history of this planet. Halloween. And if you're excited about the 1.5 update and want to find out all the little nifty features, even the hidden ones, make sure to check out my other videos. They just went up. I'll put a link in the description down below. You can see exactly what's going on in 1.5 with all the new goodies. Make sure to watch them. And you can see I'm even prepping. Little old me with my lack of design skills has prepped a Halloween stage and a pumpkin patch that is raised to welcome in Jack and his entire crew. So let me know in the comments down below what part of October you're most excited for. And like, let's be honest, 99% of you are going to say Halloween and that's okay. Let's share the Halloween love in the comments down below. I love doing these videos. I love it all. It's a big month and we got a lot to lay out. So let's jump into the best event of the month right away. It's Hollow Freaking Ween, okay? This thing is coming on October 31st from 5 p.m. to midnight. It's only seven hours, okay? Seven hours, Jack shows up, Everybody's in costume, you get to share candy, you get to enjoy the spooks, the tricks, and the treats with all your villagers on October 31st. But leading up to that, you gotta prepare, okay? There's a lot you gotta do. You get one piece of candy per day from Nook's Cranny, and you're gonna wanna start building out your pumpkin DIYs. The candy set, the pumpkin fence, the lantern stand, the lantern set, the pumpkin stack, the scarecrow, the jack lantern the pumpkin school, the so many good ones. And there's pumpkins themselves to get ready to start prepping for the holiday. But this month is not just full of Halloween. Candy is the new currency, Jack is the new NPC, and as far as I know, Jack is a lot of, a lot of your favorites. This is gonna be really, really, really exciting. Now I have built myself some areas to prep for this and you might want to do the same. October does not bring the leaf changes just yet. In the game, November is more of the breezy, drifty leaves season in the game. That's when the mush items come and it's one of my favorite times of year. Hoodie weather has already arrived in Indiana. I don't know about where you're from, but I'm so stoked. I'm gonna start laying out my scarecrows. I'm gonna get my pumpkins from Leaf because you can now purchase those starts from Leaf or from Nook's Cranny, a great way to get in the October spirit. And then eventually the leaves will change colors. Right now though, we still have our acorns and our pine cones. If you wanna collect those for some of the trees bounty items, the DIY, you can still grab those. And if you miss them in September, get them in October because now is the time. I've seen all the characters. I've been to all the mystery islands. We've explored the entire roster. All the characters. We need some... Hold on. Hello? SpongeBob? My dude! I haven't heard from you since I was like 12! How you been? Wait, new characters? You got a new game? A hundred characters? No freaking way. A hundred to collect. Oh. My. Gosh. Dude, SpongeBob says Nickelodeon Kart Racers 2 is coming to Switch next week and there's a hundred characters on the roster. Who you got? Invader Zim? Aang? Squidward? Freaking Hey Arnold? Wait, and, and me? I like the sound of that. Like it's all my favorites from when I was young, like all that nostalgia coming in hot, but you put me in? They put me in the game. My hair! That's my hair! Oh my gosh, I love car racers. This is so, wait a second. <laughs> That's Danny Phantom. That's Danny freaking Phantom. Okay, so I might not be in this game, but they've got just about everybody else. All your favorites, all loaded into this kart racer with nearly 30 tracks and so much slime. Item antics as you race against the cast of SpongeBob, Avatar, Cat Dog, and Ninja Turtles. This game is loaded with fun, and as you wait for the holiday season to roll around, it's a perfect multiplayer excursion for your Switch. Four players local, eight players online, and if you click 
click the link in the description down below and grab the game. You get it for 15% off before it even comes out, which is such a sweet deal. So big thanks to Nickelodeon Kart Racers to Grand Prix for sponsoring this month's video. Make sure to click the link in the description down below. Check the game out for a slimy good time, a slew of racers, both old and new, and a whole lot of kart racing chaos for you and your friends. Now, we also have a few other events and holidays this month, and we're going to talk about two of them. We've got the fishing tourney on October the 10th. Yes, the same fishing tourney you've probably already completed and participated in three or four times. This is for both the Northern and Southern Hemisphere, though. It is a second Saturday that lines up for both sides of the globe. And of course, it's a day where you can hunt for fish with your friends or by yourself to acquire points and get some cool gear. Now, the prizes themselves aren't bad. If this is your first time participating, you're going to enjoy it but they're repetitive, and they have not cycled or switched at all, which is a bit of a bummer. Now, there is actually another event that is yet to be announced, but could easily become a part of the October slate, and that's Explorer's Day. Explorer's Day has been a part of Animal Crossing in the past, and I would not be surprised to see Nintendo pop something on Twitter or elsewhere to announce a little event for this. Now, this is basically Columbus Day, and so in the past... Tortimer would bring you a little ship, a model ship, kind of like of the Mayflower. Now, I don't know since Tortimer is not in the game if it's something that might just show up at resident services or in your mailbox or how they will choose to celebrate Explorer's Day, uh, but we'll have to see if that does happen mid-month. I would like to believe it will since it was in New Leaf, but you never know these days. It would, in theory, be a, an event that you couldn't time travel to, so they'd have to update it. I don't know, I think it's about 50-50 at this point, but keep your eyes peeled for Explorer's Day on October 14th, and then the end of the month is Halloween, of course. So the celebration on Halloween will take place in the plaza, but I don't believe we're getting another new NPC this month. You guys know the sadness that struck when I found out my boy Brewster was not going to be a part of the package. And Katrina doesn't seem to be coming either, so Jack is going to be the sole spook that haunts the plaza and takes up shop here on October 31st. November does promise Franklin and Jingles, so I'm hoping that maybe we get more action in front of resident services next month, but do know that there will not be another major update this month. Usually we start these videos off saying like, oh my gosh, when's the update going to be? Well, the update hit on September 30th, therefore it's in effect for the entire month of October, and we're not getting our next one until late November. They've already announced that and made that clear, so no need to get all excited or all worried or your anticipation building to the point that you spill water all over yourself because there's not going to be an update till late November, and maybe then we'll get more NPCs, but for now, it's just you, me, and Jack, and all of his jack-o'-lanterns, and all the costumes, which I cannot wait to collect. So the Able Sisters are an important NPC this month, but there's nobody else new. Now, it wouldn't be truly turning the page from month to month and opening the next section of Nook's Almanac if we didn't spend a little bit of time and TLC on the new fish bugs, and deep-sea creatures. And I love that it's a trifecta. I love that we've expanded our almanac to include all these creatures. And of course, I got you covered for the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. The entire globe is in my heart. And it's a weird month because the new fish guys, for the Northern Hemisphere at least, it's a very tiny list. It's the yellow perch and the dab because we're starting to cycle through fish. We're starting to get to the point in the year, the point in the Animal Crossing New Horizons timeline where we're seeing fish reappear for the second time, instead of just debuting for the first time. So that's all you got, new fish, uh, in terms of the Northern Hemisphere. Old fish, you're losing a lot. And my boy, the snapping turtle, is one you gotta watch out for, because he's so fun. And you have this month to get him before he's gone for a while. He also has good value. Uh, the Mahi Mahi, a nice 6,000 bell fish. The eels are very cool as well. They got thin frames as you seek them out in the seas. The moray eel and the ribbon eel, I like them a lot. A few other fish, angelfish, beta, rainbow fish, tilapia, catfish, and of course, the giant trevally. So grab those now if you want to complete your museum or if you just like fish, because maybe one day seafood comes since pumpkins started farming. And that's another important thing about this month. Farming has officially begun. It's not really in, in total effect with a ton of different veggies, but the starts that you see here with pumpkins is the beginning of the farming cycle that has been data mined and rumored, and we've talked about and predicted. It begins here. Your farming lifestyle, your ability to start getting crops and veggies for the eventual cooking update that I'm sure is going to happen begins now, so get those pumpkins ready. That's why I got my patch prepared. If you don't have as much time needed to be spent on fish, more time for the pumpkins. You can love up those veggies and develop a very nice system as they continue to add more and more seeds.
Now the southern hemisphere sees a bunch more new fish with the crawfish, the snapping turtle, the guppy, the killifish, the neon tetra, the seahorse, the clownfish, the surgeon fish, the butterfly fish, and the zebra turkey fish all making appearances. Gotta love that snapping turtle. It is the big kahuna in terms of price point and it's also the coolest one. Now we're losing a few mega fish. It's the dab, the tuna, and the blue marlin, a big boy of the sea, 10,000 whopping bells and a nose that could stab you from six feet away. He's social distance except for his nose. So grab this guy, it's a huge shadow all day long by the pier and you are gonna cash in. Plus he's a really cool one to have for your meme zam. Let's dip our little toes into the bugs. Ladybug. I told you October was a little barren for the Northern Hemisphere. We got so much else to worry about. Pumpkins, Jack, Halloween, candy. Candy, okay, but you're getting a ladybug if you want him. He's kind of a cutie. Um, in terms of what we're losing in the Northern Hemisphere, it's gonna be a big list. A lot of dragonflies, as well as the tiger beetle, the scorpion, the darner dragonfly, banded red, bell cricket, yellow butterfly, stink bug, man face stink bug, which is a horror. And you're also losing the ladybug. So the ladybug is the, the, the premier bug to get this month in the Northern Hemisphere. And then you can grab the rest of these, including the scorpion. We're gonna be swapping back to tarantulas, which will be fun. I honestly prefer tarantulas. I think they're a little bit creepier and a little cuter. So I'm glad that that's going to be happening uh, if you like to clear out your mystery islands or if you just spend a lot of time searching at night. Now, in terms of new bugs in the south, they are getting a bunch of butterflies. The common blue bottle, the agrius butterfly, the Raja Brooks birdwing, which I love. I actually have one of those right here in my stash because I love it so much. I want to show it to you right now. I freaking love these guys. Um, let's take this off screen for a hot minute and be like, da-da-da, it's Raja. Raja, my girl, my boy, my dude, my tiger, can you please become a liger? Wrong movie, Aladdin, not Napoleon Dynamite. Does anyone even care about that movie anymore? Probably not. What, what a thing of the times. Let's continue along our list. We got the Madagascan Sunset Moth, the Long Locust, the Darner Dragonfly, the Giant Water Bug, the Jewel Beetle, and the Flea. With all these bugs flying around, you might need some chapstick as you're going to be spending a lot of time in the breezy outdoors now. Let's go to the deep sea creatures because there's actually some really nice stuff this month and I'm going to take you to a different section of the museum. I like these backdrops fitting what we're talking about. It's just perfect. Isn't this a perfect scene? Me and my boy Cranston staring into the depths. What is awaiting us in October in Pascal's Bridelands? Well, it's a pretty nifty list because we get the seaweed, the spiny lobster, and the Venus's flower basket. Now, the Venus's flower basket is a 5,500 pointer. So a pretty nice get to add to the diving shores. Now we're losing the spotted garden eel and the giant isopod. And that giant isopod, as Cranston knows, is repulsive and also a massive and also worth so much. So if you need some quick cash, it's gonna be all about grabbing that big blue marlin off the pier and the giant isopod with its large shadow size deep in the diving waters. Now the Southern Hemisphere, let's talk about what they've got and that they're losing. Lobster and sea pineapple are being added and they're dropping the sea cucumber. The terrifying spider crab. I can't even look at the snow crab and the spider crab. 12,000 bells, 6,000 bells, medium large shadows all day long and horrifying. Spider crabs are something an aquarium does not need to show me. Like I'm so glad my aquarium ain't got that yet. It ain't got it, it's okay. Just got that freaking mollusk or whatever that is over there. I think the aquarium is so beautiful. We never spend time in here. So me and Cranston are just having a fun October fall day. A little, uh, little friend hangout here in the dumps, looking at some of the fish and really just watching the time go by. That's all we've got in terms of critters for this month. But there's still one more thing to talk about. Nook's Cranny is also important for October. They are all dolled up with decorations, which I love. Can't wait to see what they do for the Jingle Bell season. But inside the shop, yes, you do have the candy. Yes, you do have the pumpkin starts, which are important. But you're also gonna get a nice special little section here that sells themed items for the October season. So right in this corner where Timmy and Tommy are like, I don't know what's happening over here. We only have a trash can and a chemist set. No, they're going to have another thing right here. Like they did with the surfboard section in the summertime, you're going to get a nice October arrangement right over here that will be popping super soon. So make sure to check out their shop. And if you like what I'm wearing, I got my fall gear picked out. Of course, the Able Sisters will sell you some gear that can be good for this month, like those costumes we discussed earlier. Plus, they will more likely stock long sleeved and pants type items. Um, but if you like what I got going on here, and let me show you the back of this, it's pretty freaking cute. I got a pumpkin on this one. I have another one with skull and bones, some really nice uh, gear and attire 
for the season. Let's throw that on screen now. Bam! This creator just did amazing work. And if you want to grab any of these dresses or jackets, they're perfect for the month and can set you up as we start off another season of Animal Crossing. Guys and girls, thanks so much for being here for another page-turning look at Nook's Almanac as we explored October, all the events, the NPCs, the glory of the fish, the deep-sea creatures, and the bugs. Of course, Nook's cranny, the DIYs, and the holidays. Get ready. It's going to be a fun one. I can't wait to share it with all of you. So make sure to smash that like button if you're pumped for what's ahead this month, our seventh month of AC. <gasps> Holy crap. Holy crap. The year has flown by. I know it's taken a toll on a lot of us and it's taken so much time, but it has flown by in other elements and other aspects. And I'm glad to see it through. I'm glad to get it out of here, but I'm really pumped for Halloween. So let's enjoy the month together. Let me know what you're most looking forward to and most pumped about in the comments down below. Make sure to check out all my other videos on the update and all that fun Halloween stuff. For now, though, have a fantastic day, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. I love you so much. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart out there. And until next time, I love you a lot. Switch Force, out.